YouTube, it's me, Stephanie, aka Zill 308 and today I feel like we should sample all of Japan. So I have the Japan crate for the month of April right here that we're gonna try out. I am so excited because I love Japanese snacks probably more than any other worldly snacks ever. They're just the perfect amount of sweetness, saltiness, gumminess, and flavor. I have like a lot of sweets in here. It's just, it's honestly way too much for one person. So I'm calling in reinforcements. It's Justin! Hey guys. Yes, I like candy. Yes. Tell, it's your favorite thing ever, basically. Besides you, my equivalent of going to the bar, stopping at the 7-Eleven, and probably spending about $12 on candy, and coming home and just Netflix and candy. Yeah. Netflix so. and candy, that's Justin. Yes. This was a total surprise. I thought that Japan Crate was actually just gonna send me the Doki Doki box for April. And then this showed up on our door and I was like, what? Thank you so much, Japan Crate. Awesome. Thank you, Japan. Well, Japan Crate. J the, the country did not send this to us. The country? I just, it, the company's name is Japan Crate. Oh. Not Japan. I mean, it's still cool, but like, I thought <laughs> Japan was like, yo, Stephanie. I wish I was sponsored by Japan. I can be. Japan Embassy, please contact me. Mm -hmm. So I have to apologize to the YouTube family that I actually already opened this and we already ate a few samples of the snacks. She opened it first, um, ate a bunch. I came home after work one time late and it looked like a, like a snack crate exploded on the coffee table and there was just food all over the place and candy wrapper trails to the bedroom. So it, then I just had some afterwards. What? This is what she looked like when she looked at me. Yes, exactly. What? What we're gonna do is we are going to rate each one of these items uh -huh. on a scale of one to 10. 10 means I would buy this again. Rate the crate. Rate the crate. This thing called Chip Star, which I already really like because the name is adorable. It's kind of like a Pringle. I mean, kind it's of. pretty it's much. A, it is a Pringle. I love this. This is a 10 out of 10 for me because apparently I looked at the guidebook. Apparently this is shrimp flavored, but it's like heaven flavored. Give it an eight. It's good. How dare you? The crisp of a Pringle is a little bit better than this um, potato cracker. It just doesn't crack as uh, crispy as a Pringle does. Um, and also I feel like they're a little smaller. If I can hold the food in my hand, one hand, it's not enough. This is America. This is America. Okay, Japan, All think right. about that next time. Next one, it's called Shrimp Chips, mm. and it is baked, and um, mm. it is super delicious. Probably really delicious if you were baked. Eh? Eh? We don't smoke. I mean, I... Give me some more. I just come here to make her channel awkward, that's all. This one is not as flavorful as the other chips. This one is way more flavorful than the other chips. Whoa, we are on two different paths in life right now. Ten. You think it's a 10. I think that this is an 8 for me. What? Super crispy. I mean, hold on. It is crispier, but I think the flavor is better in Chip Star. Really? The last thing that we have already pre-eaten. Capricot. It's like... Capricot. I don't know how to say it. It's a little mini chocolate heart mousse mm. cake. Mm -hmm. And they are fluffy, delicious, and delightful. And taste incredible with these. You eat like one of these, and then have one of those right after. And it's a really good combo. I might be pregnant. I don't know. So you have like the cream, you have like the mousse on top and then the chocolate underneath and the little heart shape. How much would you rate this guy? I need one more taste. I would say it's an eight. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'd say eight. It's like- Yeah, it's really good. It's really good, but it's like, it's too rich to eat more than one, but it's not sweet enough to only eat one. So you're kind of I like, think it's just, it's just filling, that's all. Let's, you choose which one to pick. How do they, how do they, how are they choosing right now? No, it's you, honey, I'm talking to you. Oh, they're talking to them. No. These people. I wish they could choose, but they can't. You can't. Hold on. I know. Wait, you know what? They're gonna choose. I'm gonna let them choose, and they're gonna think about it. And I, it's gonna go to me, and I'm gonna speak for them. Okay. So choose, guys. Choose. Here we go. And I'm guessing that most of you, the obvious choice is this this beautiful little panda guy here. But obvious. You guys are also thinking, oh, that's an obvious choice. So in reality, I'm gonna pick this can. I bet you that's what most of you chose. Pine soda. Sangria. Ooh. Oh yeah. That was a good sound bite. Why do I have to use a straw? This is just more classy. 
Ooh, I feel like I'm on a cruise ship just traveling the Bahamas. Oh, I like this. It tastes like papaya. It's a little bit more savory. And yeah. Pineapple's like really, really sweet. This is like kind of like a more full body flavor. Mm. Look at me in my food critic style. Call me up, Jonathan Gold. With some ice, I'd give it a 10. Ooh, yeah. I would say it's a nine. It's pretty good. I just don't like how small it is. But you know, uh, again, I'm right. crazy American. I want things in extra large all the time. So That's why you're with me. Oh, what, I'm 6'3", come on. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, so it's another cola flavor thingy, it looks like. It looks like stuff is coming out of his head. And he's loving it and he's putting, he's eating it. He's eating his brain matter and then it's coming out of his brain and he's, it's a right. cycle. So I think these are instructions. They are. So we're like, at first we are, you take your little spoon thingy. And smile. And smile. And then you eat said spoon thingy and then go crazy. Pull that out of his head. All right. Oh. Okay, so we got a sucker. I was not expecting a sucker. I thought it was like a little spoon thing. And we got powder. Okay, I'm gonna try this without the powder just so I can get. I'm gonna guess it's like a cola flavor. Am I right? Cola. -y? Yeah. Cola. cola -esque. Subtle. Subtle. And now, now. Dip it in the fizz. Get it nice. Get in there. Get it. Get it. This is what it looks like fully coated. Covered in the white powder. I'm kind of underwhelmed. Try it. You had your mouth all over it. You're like, oh. I don't know. I'm, it's like sharing gum. Mm, I'm a fan. Really? Oh yeah, I give this a nine. I give this like a five. What? Yeah, I don't think it's that strong. I don't think it's that satisfying of a flavor. Well, then I'm, I'm keeping really... this to myself then. You can. Mm. Oh, it's mochi. I'm assuming they're grape flavored, which is really interesting because no one really likes grape, let's be honest. Why does everything come in grape flavored? I hate grapes. Is that an all spark cube? Eh? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a little tart. Mm. Ooh. You know what? What? Hold this. You can't mix things yet. Ew! I think you probably use a little. Ew! A little You're so that. gross! Hold on. I had to get it wet. The thing wet to. There we go. Ugh. All right. Okay. You're never coming back. No! Eat it. No, Eat I it. will not. No, no. It's like it tastes like the. Uh, it tastes like the gummy snacks that like the, my. Um, Friends with the rich parents would buy them from like, you know. Rich parents candy. It's tart and has a subtle sweetness to it. I sort of really mm. like this. I think I'm going to give it a eight. I give it a seven. Still really good. I'm waiting for this guy. Let's do it. <gasps> How cute! Okay, so this is what he looks like. Just so you guys can get a comparison. That's it's close. pretty it's pretty close actually. It's a lot better than most like ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> those awful wrappers, you guys know what I'm talking about. You know those awful Powerpuff Girl ice creams that look like haunted demon eyes? Yeah, you know what's up. Oh. Cute. Okay, so I wasn't really expecting that at all. It's like a little deep dish cookie sandwich and... Okay, that's pretty cool. That is really cool and on the back it has like a really defined... Look, my face is a cookie. I'm a cookie face. I'm gonna put it back up. There we go. Keep it like that. You're mean today. Love you. Mm. It sounds like it too. It's like a chocolate ice cream cone. Basically yeah. It's on top of. This is very satisfying. It's like a really nice chocolate mousse thing. Wow. So good. Can I order more of these? Holy yeah. Crap. I want that. Guys, this is kind of amazing. We like this a lot. Thank more. you, Japan. Thank you, Japan. Crate. Crate. What do you open? You haven't even shown them what you're I'm opening. I'm sorry. Yet. So there's this thing. I was just opening it off camera because I don't know what I was doing with my life. Plasticky gummy shell over white cream. Yeah, you try. We're kind of in peep territory here. Ooh. Banana milkshake flavored peep. I dislike this very much. It's a chocolate and then that other thing. Marshmallow. And and marshmallow banana flavoring on the outside. That's too many. That's too much. This is getting crazy out of hand for me. That's I'm gonna give right. that like. Below a five, I'll just be nice. The colors. Yeah, it's really cool, like packaging. All these things have really cool packaging, actually. Mm. Oh, it's not a gum. It might be gum. Oh, it is gum. It goes from starburst texture 
yeah. to gum. Really interesting. It's slightly tart. I'm also not into that. It loses its flavor a little quick. Looks like another gummy thing. Really cool packaging, and that guy is smiling. Yeah, man, and everything is really happening right now. So much going on. So man. much. What is it? One of those things where you have a whoosh, slappy hand? Yeah. Like God. from the '90s. And they get covered in hair and dust and lint. And is that like a, a Jewish star? A David, the star of David, right there? Yeah. High five. I can smell it. It smells like those uh, Coke bottles. Yeah, it smells like those gummy Coke bottle candies. It's like slightly cola, like very like, slightly. Like the cola, it's it's. Think like those Coke bottles, but um, if you bite into it, it bites. You bite. It's a lot softer. I'm I'm used to the Coke bottle flavors, which I like, and this one is like not the same. So. But I, I don't really get why it's a hand and a star, but hey, cola hand star. That's something that Japan wants us to know about. So I appreciate that. I would give that a three. I didn't really like it that much. I six. It wasn't special. It was edible. So looks like it's like your fruit gummies. Ooh, I'm excited about this one. The ingredients to this, it is labeled as candy. We got some glucose syrup. Glucose! Yeah, sugar. Love me some pectin. You got some yellow number five. <gasps> oh, do you know about yellow number five? No. Oh. What is that bad? You'll just have to look it up. And Tico Ferro, let's try it out, shall we? Honey, is it bad? What? That's cute. Bring that to a party. Got right. my fruit tray. Oops. Oh, I'm taking pineapple. Like strawberry. I would give it a three. Yeah, then three. because it's nothing's wrong with it. It tastes fine. It's mm. just nothing like super special because you can get those gummies in right. anywhere. Oh, I think this is ramen. Yeah, it is. It's ramen. Oh, I like this a lot. All right, we're tasty. Yeah, right. You can feel like the little bubbles, and it's just really good. I would buy this again. I'm gonna give it an eight. So, and then you also get in your monthly crate, which it looks like you get one every month. Is this little hamster guy? He's cute. He matches my outfit. I'm gonna put him on my head. There. Perfect. Looks great. It is great. The last and final, the finale of this box is make your own candy container. What, is he sitting on something or is there something? Yeah, I'm not really sure what's happening below the bear here. I mean, I'm sure that's the popsicle stick, but you know, for the graphic design, I'm sure that could have maybe been omitted. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not really sure what any of this means. But those are the instructions. Uh, slight, I'm gonna say first things first. A little misleading in the size of what you think you're gonna make. Show the package. Show the bear, show how big that package is, and then here is the mold for said bear. Hi. Yeah, that's a little size difference. So you got that hand there, and then you got the bears down there, and then you got the bears here, and you got the hand here. A little different. False advertising. Oh, we have sticks boy. and we have these tubes. Let's get the, this thing out because it'll translate how to do the thing. Oh, wait, we could have been looking at this the whole time? That's cheating. <sighs> Look, okay, Waku Waku Zoo Animal DIY is apparently what it's called. Waku Waku. Waku Waku. Use the different colored soft candy dough to fill the molds. Make sure to fill the front and the back molds tightly without any gaps to create a firm, great looking lollipop. We're gonna do this, hold on, we'll do be back it. in a second. This took us a long time to do, by the way. This gummy stuff kept sticking to your, your fingers and it wouldn't go in the mold, but this is what we got so far. So we're going to put the two halves together. Separate the two molds carefully and your animal-shaped gummy lollipops will be ready to eat. Oh, well, tear that turned off, out really Tear cute. off the excess. Yeah, you just gotta tear off the excess, but it's actually a lot cuter than I thought. How far did you put the stick up the giraffe's butt? I put it pretty far up his butt. Okay, good. When in doubt. Shove it all in. Wow. Cute! They turned out really cute. There's the back. Show your back, honey. Yeah, straight. Straight. It's cute. Yeah. Very cute. I like them. It is like, it's kind of grainy. You can really taste the lemon in this. I'm not really sure that the texture of it, but I do like the flavor, and it was fun to make even though it took us a long time. So I think this would be fun for kids and parties and things like that. Yeah, I wish it, was, it should be a little bigger. Yeah, I wish they were bigger too, but you know, that's again because we're, we're American, so you know. It's like, uh, is, is this big to your head? No, this big? No. Uh... It's 
barely, you barely see it. Holy crud. You know, it's about the fun. It's you know, fun, when it guys. comes down to it, it really is about the, the fun. Yeah, so that yeah. was fun. Yeah. Well, that's it. That's it for this month's Japan Crates. Thank you, Japan. Crates. Crate. What was your favorite item? This guy? Yeah. That yeah, that was also my favorite. And then also I liked this guy. Thank you for helping me sample everything. Well, thank you for letting me sample it. I love you. Mm -hmm, too. Thank you again to my friends at Japan Crate for unexpectedly sending me this Japan Crate for the month of April. It was super fun to unbox and share with a friend. And if you guys are thinking about maybe getting your own Japan Crate, I do recommend sharing it with a friend because there's so much fun food here. Your whole family involved, your yeah. sister, your brother, your, your best friend. Your neighbor. Anyone. Because it's... Man. No. No? Maybe. Our mailman gave us a Christmas card. That's true. Our mailman is really cool. Go ahead and head over to japancrate.com. Mm -hmm. Find out all the information there. Mm -hmm. As well as you guys can find out how to get the Doki Doki box, which I tried previously, which is a really fun box right. too. All right, guys. Much loves and virtual hugs. I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.